when you mention Kitengela, very many things come to mind. But one of the things that pop is the fact that this area is characterized by black cotton soil, which makes it very, very, very tedious for construction. However, there have been ways and means of getting that out of the way. Of course, that gets you in the great books of the contractor and the excavator who makes sh who who normally makes sure that he digs deeper or excavates deeper for you to have the back fill and that will cost you a lot of money. Now the building we have over here has bypassed all that. It's already constructed on black cotton soil and it's got the eco concrete floor, not just the ceiling but the foundation. This is how we're saving money. How big is this space? Uh, the plot itself is about a quarter acre. Uh, it's situated in uh, Kitengela. And uh, the whole house is about 288 square meters. It is a, it's a marshal So the first floor is about 144 square meters. And the ground floor is about the same, the same uh, square meters. What have you done to your house? What is it? The foundation, uh, as opposed to the traditional way of doing excavation, we did a suspended floor, whereby you only need to do the trenches where the, wall, uh, the walls are going to, to be raised. The soil here is black cotton soil, so what we did is we suspended the floor, and after suspending uh, the foundation floor, we just came and placed the eco-concrete slab, and you are good to go. The soil here is black cotton, uh, so now we are getting into the house this is the ground floor uh, the floor is suspended. There wasn't any much excavation that was done apart from the trenches where the walls are going to be raised. So after doing the foundation uh, stones, put a screed and thereafter you just come and place your eco-concrete slab. By placing the beam, the beams and the blocks, you arrange them. So uh, this is generally the living area and the kitchen. And as you can see right now up here, we are putting up the first floor. It's under construction. They are doing the screening part. You can be able to see what the bottom part of uh, the slab lo looks like. After this, we can, you can be able to put an aesthetic in terms of maybe gypsum or something that will be able to cover this. And that as well will cut your costs. You see, this one is uh, normal. The water must, already, must continue seeping because uh, this, uh, it has got some segments. So water will normally, will normally drip down when you are doing your construction, but what you'd normally do is ensure in the wet areas, you do this kind of cement that is called uh, waterproof cement in the wet areas. Uh, also, when you finish doing your screeding, you can as well put a screed that will prevent water from seeping down to the bottom uh, rooms. I would recommend, I would recommend this 100% to anybody who's doing construction at this moment. We are going to cut a lot of uh, expenses, we are going to save a lot in terms of time and expenses of labor and material. We are going to save a lot and you'll be able to finish your project. Have you built before? Yes, but uh, not a construction of this magnitude. This one is a serious construction that is uh, monitored by the government and many other agencies in terms of construction. So you have to be very, very keen and serious in what you are doing. So you cannot gamble around like uh, the small timber homes that we do back in our rural villages. Those ones are not really monitored. Uh, so when you compare this kind of a construction with a timber, you have to be very keen in what you are doing here. And you have to also be very observant in your expenses. Even your eco concrete, in a Tumika, you can do it for a while, and you can do it for a while. Kwa hivyo mi mi kwa maoni yangu na online mbili ya eco concrete ili watu wengi waweze kutumia ili kwa sababu ni less expensive ukikombea na ile mbili ya samani Major major benefit for every person who's doing a construction a home or a commercial
commercial project is uh, you want to save where you can be able to save and you transfer that cost to other areas maybe where you can be able to add in aesthetics. Because uh, the floor really does not need uh, a lot of aesthetics. The fundamental purpose of a floor is uh, structural. Yes. Is, it, is this going to be a flat roof? It's going to be a flat roof, but what they normally call a parapet. From outside, it appears like it's a flat roof. But the owner of the house and the people who constructed know very well that it's really not a flat roof. You have some abatis which have uh, been uh, camouflaged, but we're also going to do a flat roof so that you can have some storage areas for water tanks. After that, the plan was to have uh, a flat roof, but you can be able to do a parapet parapet uh, roof whereby we want to do the same floor from eco concrete we are going to pull it when you go up we are going to pull it up to this uh, about this uh, measurement we are going to put some gutters here and then after that you can use mabati and that will also cut your cost in construction. Mm -hmm.